Hey you guys! So I had a really cool question come through Patreon and I thought it would be awesome to channel my higher self and explore an answer to this question for all of us today. So I'm going to go ahead and read the question and then I'm going to get connected with my higher self, okay? So the question is, I have a question for you about the whole concept of holding the light. Do you understand why the light from the universe has to come through humans and why we need to anchor it? I've never really come across a good explanation about this. I mean, why don't energies from the universe just kind of bathe the planet and nature and create change that way? I'm sure they do, but why is this idea that we should be drawing the light down through our bodies and then projecting it out to the world? Is it to do with influencing other people so they will think about their choices? Why wouldn't the light be coming through everyone, not just those who are aware? Do you need to clear your chakras or something? I don't know. i just like to know what your thoughts are. Okay, so I'm going to relax here. I think it's a great question because in the spiritual communities, we always talk about you know, anchor the light or um, be the, the light within you or let the light within you shine. And um, you hear it, but what does it actually mean? What is this all about? And what does this light have to do with humanity and um, the whole concept itself? So I'm just going to relax here. I'm pretty excited to explore this question with my higher self and we'll see we'll see what comes, okay? We're talking about anchoring the light. What does that mean exactly? And why do we have to allow that light to flow into us and then to shine out from within us? How come the light isn't just flowing through everybody? Is it about awareness? This is just a really great complex question. Okay. There's just a, a relaxation experience that I'm having right now as I'm connecting with my higher self. And I experienced myself going up actually in vibration. in order to work with my higher self on answering this question. My higher self shows me, Abby, standing up on top of a cloud. And I have a really bright light coming from my third eye and it's like a, the light from a lighthouse. And the light is sort of spinning around and around in order to encourage anyone who wants to gravitate towards this light that they may see it and they may ch make that choice if this light is appealing to them or not appealing to them. My higher soul says oftentimes boats appreciate light in dark places. It helps them to know where the shore is. It helps to avoid danger. It helps to avoid chaotic calamities. Light is a good thing, don't you think? My higher self is showing me a world. Is the world a dark place? Or is the world a place full of light? What do you think the answer is to that question? She shows me people and suffering in all different types of ways, sinking into their own pits of tar begging for help and they reach their hand outward to other human beings and sometimes a human being will reach their hand back and sometimes not. My higher self wants to know how many problems that it's sort of like we're looking at all these different human beings with different issues sinking in the tar and each one of them is dealing with their own version of a challenge. But that version of a challenge is coming from within them. It only appears as to be instigated from society, instigated from upbringing, instigated from all of these variables that create the growth and development of a single human being. And some of us will go within ourselves in order to conquer that which is within, in order to bring harmony 
with all that is around the self. My higher self shows me that every single issue is all a part of the illusion, is all a part of fear, is a part of jealousy, is a part of going without and seeing others that have everything. It's a part of all of the dynamics that create each and every one of our life experiences. And she shows me souls that are struggling with this and souls who are becoming brighter and brighter and brighter, not because they didn't have struggle, but because they found the courage within themselves to face what is inside themselves instead of blaming the world for everything. When they find the courage to go within, to heal what hurts, to heal what they are afraid of, to heal what makes them angry, to heal the jealousy. When they go within to heal these vibrations that create the clenched experiences, the dark, chaotic moments, those souls who go within become brighter. And the souls who reach out for help Sometimes when they reach out for help, it is because they are trying to get out of themselves. They are trying to escape their own self-imprisonment. Sometimes help is enough to get them out of the tar, for them to self-realize, for them to feel loved and appreciated and supported, and for them to grow above and beyond through the help of others, through the help of lighthouses who have conquered the pain and suffering within themselves and now can reach that hand out in order to help those get out of the black tar. She shows me one person in the black tar creating such a calamity they're desperate for help. Help me, 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 help me. Thousand people come and reach their hand out. But this one says, this hand isn't good enough. Or I want something more from you than you can give me. And you don't understand what I'm going through inside. Thanks for your help. But you didn't really help me that much. You need to help me more than this. She wants to know what that lighthouse looks like. She wants to know if that soul in that tar scenario with all these souls that come to try to help, is that soul anchoring the light? Is that soul finding the strength within to conquer themselves in order to help other souls conquer themselves? And she shows me all the souls that come to help this one are now helping as a teacher and a student. And some of these souls that come to help this one leave feeling like the light became dimmer instead of brighter. And this one's purpose now is to challenge your ability to love yourself enough to say no. To love yourself enough to forgive yourself for anything that had happened that ended up being put back on you as the bad guy when it really wasn't that way. But now you feel guilty for reasons you really shouldn't feel guilty for. She shows me souls who are strong and courageous who have the power to heal what is within themselves anchor the light. They become strong and grounded with themselves, with their inner power, with their understanding of the balance. They've been through enough situations with people to understand how much and how little to give and how to keep things in the balance and when to step away from, to move back, to disconnect from that energy. It's a complicated world. <laughs> I 
So anchoring the light is a reflection of how strong you are within yourself and how that strength or that balance of vibration, that balance of love creates the light that, act, that helps other people find the light within themselves so they too can learn how to anchor that light and become their own lighthouse. Not because you did it for them, but because they had to do the work within themselves. She sh takes me back to this one who, who reached out for a hand that helps them out of the mud. And they became brothers. They became best friends. They became soulmates. And they hugged each other in that moment. And one cried and the other one was so blessed to be there at that time and place to help. And that connection heals this one's heart. She shows me too that this connection creates self-discoveries and this one and this one learns how to conquer themselves. Even when we are helped, we still have to do the learning. We still have to have the self-discoveries. We still have to do all of that in order to grow as strong and sturdy trees, as strong and sturdy lighthouses, as wise and enlightened emanations of love. The question comes back, is this world a world of darkness or is this world a world of light and love? She shows me a human being who walked the pathway of darkness, conquered themselves, became light, now became enlightened was able to look back and see the reality of the experience here on earth it's not negative or positive it just is what it is a gift a blessing a learning experience a discovery experience people either choose the learning or they don't choose the learning they want your help or they want to use you they want to work on themselves or they don't want to work on themselves it's choices. We don't have to get emotionally attached to their choices. And we could be strong within ourselves and be the light if that light is needed. And to learn when to say no. And to learn when to say yes. That, that feels like all I'm meant to share for this message. I'm going to take a moment to relax here. Hmm. Everything feels peaceful. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else that I can share about this. All right, thank you all for watching. If any of you are interested in connecting with me one-on-one -on -one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Also, I'm on Patreon if you'd like to join the community. It's also at Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you so much for all your love and support.